Sometimes things happen that are just out of your control. Oscar Shales. You remember? You gotta help the agent who goes behind my back. Talks to the press. You're on the wrong side, chasing the wrong guys. I don't have a choice. They all die. Ignition freedom. Houston, we've got no fire. What does that mean? It means we got a busted ship. A busted ship? And I'm strapped in here? I had a great spot picked out there. Freedom, you fire that engine. If there's not a way, you find a way. The clock's ticking. Let's go. Let's fire that engine, Freedom. You got less than a minute. Don't think I won't blow this thing. Sharp, get out of here. It's getting bad down here. I know how to fix it. Please move. I, I have to take you away if you don't move. What? You gotta get that shuttle started. You gotta fire it up now. Damn it, Chef! Get off this car! I'm telling you, please oh, move! This is of a big problem in the Russian space station! Because I don't want to stay here anymore! I... Yeah! Finally! We can go home! She's got me back. She's got me back. We're hot! Watch, let's go, let's go! Such a government. The medevac is three minutes out. Code 2K. 2K? What's that mean? Two kill? It means you aren't going home yet. Calamari, go meet the bird. Kate Posse, get the twin strut up. Go, go, move. What's a code 2K? Scrub up, man. Hey, hey, hey! 2K! 2K? Give me your hands. Shouldn't we have gloves on? Napkins will do. Are those kidneys? Krispy Kreme. Two Ks. There you go. Welcome to your surgical rotation. Nice work last night, boys. Here we are. Oh, still warm. Oh, yeah. Still warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to the medevac? Well, a false alarm. Has anyone seen Dr. Delgetti? Who? Oh. He's that new hotshot cutter from Scotland or Bosnia. Why do you want him? He didn't initial a form request for him. That's a real emergency. Does anyone know where he is? I would check with housekeeping. Why don't you page him? Housekeeping? Anesthesiologist. 
That's Dr. Kellerman. Dr. Bruce Kellerman. I'm here to serve you. Really? These papers have to be signed today and returned to your wife. That's an ex-wife. Sorry. Ex-wife. Boy, is the IQ of a garden pest! And so are you, you dumb wench! Hey, Bobby, I, 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 I don't think it. What? I, I, I don't you don't think, think? It... That's your problem, Phil! You don't think! You don't think! I've had it! I can't take it anymore! Especially you, Mona, dearly. What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means! You know what it means! Ah! Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Yeah, who's this? You know what this is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I sent a guy to deliver the package. He didn't call. Is everything right? Tell you what. Forget the money. What? Forget the money. It's a lot of money. What are you doing? What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. I don't understand. Because there was a dead man on the other end of this fucking line. Oh, I see, sir. Johnny Chase. Oh, Johnny Chase. Hey, what are you going to? <laughs> How the hell are you? What's going on, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. All right. Been a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's my brother Vince. Hey. Turtle and Eric. Hey, guys. Big fan. Thanks. So how you doing? Huh? Show's doing great. Stand down, Captain. You know what this badge means, right? Federal Bureau of Get the Fuck Out of My Way. You boys have blundered into an ongoing federal case. Now, lower your weapon. You. Hey, 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 Captain! Seems you're serving two masters. Take out your phone and call him. Call Jonah King. Tell him Milton is dead. Mom, mom, look, it's over. Piper's gone. I just want my car back. Look, I gotta go. Cops are here. I love you too. It's about fucking time I called you guys. Like there was a traveler, six one. What? Ah, yes, the traveler. Angry with attitude. Some bitch kicked me in the. Who are you? I'm the accountant. The one, I, I called a cop. Some bitch. Where did he go? Fuck should I know? I woke up and all three were gone. All three? The bitch, the some bitch, and my car. What kind of car? Look, you go, boss. Uh, you ain't no cop. Me ain't no talking. <laughs> Two some bitches in one day. You leave me no choice. I had to take this stick from Kentucky. Beat your ass with it. What kind of car, Frank? What? Your car. What kind is it? Why does everyone keep hurting me? Answer. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. 
69 Charger, you fuck! 440 of the Hemi. 440. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. These doors are still closed. <laughs> Jeez. Carpenter. And despite what you've heard, prefer short hair. On the ground! Stay on the ground! Nobody make a move! Andy, all the blood from the stone that is me is yours without asking. Just curiosity here. Uh, what's in it for Emmett? Emmett is our... Uh, cinematographer. Cinematographer. He's going to shoot the film. And he, you know, knows what he's doing. Plus, he's going to do it for free. Oh, you know, oh, okay. just oh, doing it for the experience. Okay? I'm in. I, except for no money, it's a no-brainer for me. First off, making a stag film has to be a good time. Number two, my hat's off to you. Good job. We can do this. What, what are we talking about here? Making a dirty movie, film, whatever, whatever. What does that require? Pointing a camera at a he and a she, he and a she. And. We filmed some sex. We got a porno. We have accomplished our goal. It's not a hundred things. It's one thing. The one thing people most want to do. Proceed. Don't mind us. We're just doing a little filming here. It, it's so specific. It's so well defined. I, I got to say, we can do this. Right, thank you, Otis. I'm with you, Otis. You said it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Go porno. 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 <laughs> oh, I can't wait. You know, down in front. I, I'm no choir boy, but if we make a porno, then we've made a porno. Doesn't the mafia make them? Well, Enough snacks. Floyd, it's a good question, but the Mafia isn't making this one. Butterface Fields is. Hmm? Each of us has lived here all our lives. We score, we score together. Yeah. Right. You don't want to hurt anybody. We know why we're doing this. It's business, right? That means we're going to need a script? Yep, that, that's right. I'm the guy for that. Well, well, we'll talk about that some. But just sexy, it sounds fine to me, eh? No, no, Otis. No. And we're going to need a director. That, that's right, yeah. Right. I'm the guy for that. We'll talk about that some. First, let me Andy, just... Do you think I haven't studied screenplay writing? Screenplay, that's what it's called. Yeah, some... A script for a movie. We'll talk about that There's later. There's a name for people like me. They're called writer-directors. We do two things. Hollywood had to invent it because there's a lot of people in Hollywood like me that are multi-gifted. Come Christmas morning, a kid has two gifts under a tree. You, you can't ask him to open just one. Sophie's Choice. What's that, kid? Uh, Sophie's Choice. Yeah, if you like, sure, kid. Kid can be named Sophie. See, Andy, we're creating. It's called collaboration. I, I work well with others. Andy, Clara and Mrs. Morelli have asked me to ask you just when can they get a look at some big porno weenie? Because they just love the big porno weenie. <laughs> Funny, Otis, please, let me just go on, okay? Andy, how much is this going to cost each of us? Uh, total, uh... Should, should we start writing checks now, Andy? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're in, Andy. Now. Two grand a piece. Oh. Okay, now we were off what? and running. Each? We were all equal partners financially, but I told him that uh, those involved in making the film would get something that's called... A... <laughs> Are you okay, Lily? Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Are you okay? He did not hurt me. I am fine. I was upset about Craig. I'm fine. He didn't do this to me. You said she's my baby. Lily, get out of here. This Lily, is the child here. you what had, is, isn't it? Lily, please, go. This is... Go. Answer me. Go. It was Lily, wasn't it? What? Oh, my God. Everything is suddenly starting to make sense. What's that? What's he talking about? Out of here. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, God. Tell the truth. Oh, God. And this time, no lies! What truth? I'm... What is he talking about? Tell it me. is too late to turn back now. Now, either you tell her 
or I will. Okay. Ja, bis dann. Na, mein Engel? Kann ich Ihnen irgendwie behilflich Nein, sein? Nein, danke. Falls Sie was Bestimmtes suchen, ich kenne mich hier sehr gut aus. Ich brauche keine Hilfe. Im Ernst? Sie sehen aus, als hätten Sie sich verlaufen. Ich bin Reporterin beim Washington Mirror und was ich hier mache, geht Sie gar nichts an. Wenn Sie mich jetzt bitte Warum entschuldigen... Warum sind Sie so eilig? Abgesehen davon sollten Sie nicht allein in so einer Gegend rumlaufen. Ein Glück für Sie, dass ich da bin, um Sie vor den Kriminellen zu schützen. Halt! Seid ihr nicht so unhöflich! Nein! Sanft oder grob? Also mir ist das ziemlich egal, Kleine. Komm her. Aufhören! Finger weg von mir! Nicht! Oh nein, nicht! Why can't you see? Nice man, very slow. Single shot through the engine block. Shit, that's a shame that was a nice Jeep. What is this, Orn? Another taxpayer funded Delta Safari? Not if General Garrison's asking. Oh, I'm in. Have a nice meal, Captain. Sergeant. Sergeant. What's going on here? Oh, just some aerial target practice, sir. They won't leave it behind. I'm talking about your weapon. Now, Delta or no Delta, that's a hot weapon. You know better than that. Your safety should be on at all times, my face. Well, that's my safety, sir. Let it go, sir. The guy hasn't eaten in a couple of days. You Delta boys are a bunch of undisciplined cowboys. Let me tell you something, Sergeant. If we get on the five-yard line, you're gonna need my Rangers. So you all better learn to be team players. We're done here. I don't know. It must have been a, a glitch in the timings with threw me out. Must have been a star quick. I think it's great that you listen. Oh. Most people don't do that anymore. Well, it's just an old habit. You know, it makes it feel more real. So, Ellie. Kent, Kent Clark. Hey. They said you've been, uh, you've been up at Owens Valley working under Drumlin. How'd you like him? <sighs> that much, and about what I'd expect after what he had to say about you. <laughs> well, what was that? That you are brilliant. Driven, a uh, major pain in the ass, and obsessed with a field of study that he considers tantamount to professional suicide. Yo, Anything else? No. Uh, those were the highlights. Come on in, come on in. Damn glad to meet you, Rhonda. Rhonda. Fra 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 I'll tell you, when I heard that Philly got snowed in, <laughs> I was telling these guys I was getting a little loose there. I'm glad we found you. Yeah, work, work, work. Well, Friday must be a busy night. That was just a friend. Hey, what can I get you to drink? Um, some of that orange juice would be great. Great. We are fresh out of OJ. Cerveza? Oh, hey, no. We bought a whole bunch of orange juice tonight. I just left it in the car, but I can go get it. Now, Zach tells me that you've got 20 of 20, is that right? You got a bathroom? Yeah, it's right down the hall on the right. Yeah, let me show you. Maybe we could do this first. Everybody, just keep it calm. We're good, we're good.
Everything all right? Fine. Do we got a deal here or not? No. No, actually, we don't. That's what I came here to tell you. I couldn't get anything. Oh, come on, come on. Resourceful girl like you? I don't believe that. It's true. Listen, I just want to make a deal here. Can we make a deal? Who the fuck are you, Monty Hall? <laughs> you know I'm only 17? I, I probably shouldn't be drinking this beer, should I, seeing as I'm so... Underage and all. Yeah, that means get away from the door. Oh, uh, sorry. No, 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 stay for a sec. Here, smell this. What does that smell like? CK1, right? Right? But it's not. Really? Yeah, I get this stuff for half what that stuff costs. It's nice. It's very nice. Hey, try. It's down. So is the liner. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's really soft. Get on. Oh no, no, <laughs> I, I gotta go help with dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? Exactly. Individually wrapped springs. Top quality. Hey. I could do aerobics over here and you wouldn't feel it. I bet I wouldn't. So, Zach, would you say you're open to new things? She said shut up to me. She's never said that before. I know, honey. She was mad at me and it rubbed off on you. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. It's going to be okay. All right, come on. Let's get on chest, okay? There we go. You know, it's probably not good for twins to be separated for too long. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You'll see Nick tomorrow, and we'll fix everything, okay? Get those socks off. Come on. You better get under there right away and go to sleep, because Why? you can't even imagine the danger you're in. <gasps> There's a hungry spider crawling up the bed. <laughs> hungry, pinching spider who loves little girls. <laughs> Dad, please, no. Don't blame me. Blame this spider. <laughs> Mom? No, it's not Mom. Who's there? It's nobody. Come on, go to bed. Let's get some sleep. We got a big day tomorrow. And everything's gonna go back to normal, okay? Don't forget to say goodnight to Nernies. Nernies? I thought Nernies ran away to join the circus years ago. Well, Nernies is back. I remember. Nernies sleeps on the ceiling. Good night, Nernies. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Princess. Good night. Love you. You know, look, you got work to do. Come on. Come on. You know, home. Huh? What you call me? I fought the Germans in France. And I fought them in the trenches. And I pray to God no one ever has to see the things that I saw. Thing. You didn't 
busy. I'm busy enough. I was working in Hayden and Anasquam. They laid off Labor Day. Mended some nets over in Fairhaven. This crap. What's this you doing now? Helping out a friend. You paying you? He's my friend. Where if you keep his sight? So you want this job or not? I do. We do have an exclusive but unconfirmed report of the identity of the man who is holding these hostages. His name is Guy Foucard, a Canadian citizen. He's a wanted known what gun the runner fuck? who apparently has been. <laughs> what? That, that's me? Guy Foucard, huh? I don't know what the. Suspected gun dealer? My name is not Guy. My name is Guy. I am not the man they say they want. Your picture's up on the fucking screen. Yes? Gee, guy, who the fuck are you? <laughs> the photo is me. The photo is me. But, but I mean, fuck. It's, yeah, I mean, I, Maybe I, he's a cop no, trying no. to trick us or something. I am not a cop. No, 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 that's not it. He's not a cop. He was in here long before this whole thing went down. Right. Something else. What? No, nothing. I mean... I knew something was wrong. I never liked your idea. If he is a cop, I say we waste him right now. Right fucking now! He's not a cop. You searched him. He's got no gun. Right. He's a liar trying to set us up, trying to frame us. Ah! All right, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. You're going to tell us who you yes. are and yes. what you're doing okay. here and why okay. you want... Okay. Shut up! And why you want it by the fence. Well, my friend here is going to start breaking your fingers. Do you understand? Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you like that? Well, can you talk to the end? Hey, just... shut up. Now, you listen. You they shut up. Here. Shut up. Okay. Yes. Huh? I am... You're gonna tell us the truth. They know and, me. And, and they know... Hey, shut up. And you're gonna tell us the truth. And if your story doesn't jive, can... he's gonna keep breaking your fucking fingers until it does. You got me? Okay, but these people. Oh, fuck it. Oh, wait, they wait, know wait, I'm wait. one. No, no, no. Milo, stay out of this, man. Go sit down. I don't wanna talk to you. Okay, okay. I want him to start yes, talking. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't. This, I am not. I am gift call. Yes, but I mean, I'm here for business. I work for the government of Quebec. I, I, in the morning, I, 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 go, I go to Mexico City for some meeting, and uh, I have some free time for the plane, so I come to this bar. And this, I know this, they know me. I come here. I... Fuck, I mean, there's a movie, an old movie was on TV, and too bad for me, I stayed to watch it late. Was this guy in here watching TV? Well, he's not a regular, so I, I didn't pay much attention, but maybe he... Ah! Ah! What'd you do that for? He's a fucking animal. Fuck you, Milo. Hey. The TV was on mute the whole time. He couldn't have been watching. Or at least he wasn't that interested. Wait, wait, wait. All right, wait. All right, wait, wait, wait. No, whoa, 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 whoa. wait. No. You're right, you're right. Well, listen, don't do that until I tell you to. What did you say that for, man? What? What? what did you do watching TV? The fucking thing wasn't even on. I, I don't... I mean, she probably, as I was watching, I don't know, I remember that... Speak fucking English! The, the fucking, the movie was over when you guys come in here and I, I, I there was sport news, I think it was the... Sport no, news. Sport news, you mean? I think so, yeah. Are there any sports shows on that late? Uh, yeah, there's one on Channel 9. Right. I think that's the one. But he wasn't there that long. He came in, in a few minutes before... He's a fucking drunk, this guy! He will on you! Uh, you lied. Ah, 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 fuck! That's enough, goddammit. Milo, it. stay the fuck out of this. Ah. Some things you're good at, this ain't one of them. Okay, okay, I, I, the police, the police. The Mr. Riley stuff later. Let's start out as Aaron and Marty. Thanks. You're here to read me, Marty. We both have full schedules. Let's get to it. Well, I don't usually interfere with a client's business manager, particularly one as new to the client as you are. But I've been unusually irresponsible? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, considering you've only known Ed six weeks? Four and a half. Lucy Schaefer lived with Ed for three years. Less, actually. 
during which time she was doing the deed behind his back. Not a nice lady. Even he knows that now. Marty, it's his money. But if we give her that much of it, how is this poor girl ever going to start building some character? <laughs> what do you think? I represent this woman? I never saw the bitch in my life. We talked it through, Marty. Slow, careful, and really complete. It's what he wants to do. Mr. Riley, don't you believe in saving someone you care about from himself? <laughs> oh, ma'am, I sure don't. I'm not that smart. Uh, Dean, I was hoping to get your opinion on something. Can you come in here for a minute? It'll just take one second. Publisher sent this over. It's for promotional events, you know, book signings, lectures, <laughs> TV. You got a good eye. What, what, what do you think? Is it too much? Uh... What do you want, Dad? Let's have a seat. I want to talk to you about Troy. Come on, I told you everything already. You told us the facts. What we're all interested in now is how you feel about it. Dad, who's we? Well, your mother and I, of course. And, and I guess a lot of people. You threw us off for a loop there, pal. Well, hold on a second. Is this a therapy session? Is that what you're doing? No, not at all. You think I'm crazy? Of course not, Dean. Hey, we're just talking here, man to man, all right? Just talking. Absolutely. Man to man? Okay. Dean, I know that Troy was your best friend. Actually, we weren't really friends. We hung out sometimes, that's all. Did you have a better friend than him? I don't really have any friends, Dad. You know that. Right. So, strictly speaking, Troy was your best friend. And how do you feel about the suicide of your best friend in the world. Real shitty. Come on, son. Make an effort for me. Dad, I told you before, I'm not all broken up about it. I know I'm supposed to be. I'm just not. You're really not? No. Sorry. No, no. I, 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 I understand how someone might respond like that. What are you writing? Dad, I thought we were just talking man to man here. Just one second. Dad, if you write about me again in another one of your stupid books, I'm gonna kill you. Stupid? There are several major book chains around this country that would disagree with you on that point. All right, Dad. The happy accident alone is going to pay your college tuition. All right. Fine. Then let me ask you this, Dean. Mrs. Johnson suspects that Troy might have been selling drugs to some of the kids at school. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel that it must have been unfulfilling for him. That's very interesting. Why do you say that? Because he killed himself? Dean, a young life was taken, and from the moment it happened, you ignored it like it was nothing. You didn't even tell any of the adults there at the party. Can you explain that? I just didn't think that you guys would what? care. This is called Viloprex. Now, don't fight me on this, Dean. I prescribed this to lots of kids. You want me to take that? It's just something to give you a little balance. OK. Let me have it. Oh. OK. Wonderful. Jesus Christ, Jared, what do you need all this for? Need? What the fuck are you saying need? There's gotta be six or seven bedrooms in this place. Eight, eight bedrooms in this place, and I don't need any of them, my friend. I want a lot. Do you? Yeah, sure. 
No, you don't. Oh, get off. And I want a lot, too. You want shit. You want people to give you shit. And you want to eat shit. And you want to smile while big piles of shit are being dumped on you. No, I don't. And quit being a pussy. I'm not a pussy. Is a big, expensive house better than a piece of shit? Why do you say I'm being a pussy? Is it? Is what? Is a big, expensive house better than a piece of shit? That depends. No, it does not. It does not depend. Yes, Jerry, it depends on whether or not you can afford this big, expensive house. No, 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 my accountant partner. You see, you got too many of those X's and Y's and not enough real facts in your head. X's and Y's are real. They stand for real numbers. If they were real, then they'd be real numbers instead of standing for shit. You see this fucking house? This fucking house is real. It is big. It is expensive. It is a giant dick. Your house? A big giant dick that gets lots of pooty. Here's my theory. What do you want? What do you want, Pat? What do you mean? It's not a trick question. What the fuck do you want? Right now? No, in life. I don't know. Security, I guess. I don't know. Great, security. You mean money? No, not necessarily money, Jerry. Quit dicking with the words. You mean money, man, and you don't even want security. That's what pussies and quitters say they want. I am not a quitter. If you're married, you quit. Oh, bullshit. You know what? Every time. Bullshit. Bullshit. Because if you, if you were not quitting, you'd want pooty. Listen. That's the point of life itself. That's what the money's for. And to get pooty, you need dick. And to get more pooty, you need more dicks. You see, I have several different dicks working different angles for me all the time. Round the clock, round the clock. I want my dick car working for me. I want my dick house. I want my big dick wallet making that pitch while my Armani dick seals a major pooty deal. <laughs> You're a drunk. I am drunk and I have lots of big dicks. And you, my friend, are drunk and have one uno solo wee wee. You are closing no deals with that little dick. You know, this wee wee has closed the deal, Jerry. I got a wife and kids, you know. When you grow up, that's what's important. You must have flunked Econ 101, my marginally endowed friend. Pat, I'm selling worldwide. My penises are opening up new markets every day. And you've got a single client. Come here. Hey, I want to show you the big screen. Big, mind you. Not little. Nobody wants little. They want it big. What is it? I'm not sure. It looks chemical, but it seems to be done in the pre-collapse form of Western notation, so... It was... Probably him. What is he? I know what he's not. He's not someone who has a single molecule of vampiral antigen in his blood. That's what he's not. He's not someone who's any good to us. We can't reverse engineer a cure out of his blood. What? And if that's not bad enough, the kid's hot, Violet. Practically radioactive. He's got a tracking device in him that's accurate to about 100 meters. It's we're shielded in here. I don't understand. Why would Nerva want me to get him so badly? And why were the humans guarding him so closely? I don't know. But whatever they did put in the kid, Violet, it's killing him. Some kind of aggressive antagonistic protein. Very predictable decay. He's got a shelf life of about eight hours. Detective Alex Tardio. 19th Precinct. Robbery. Alex. That's a... Uh... You, pumpkin, pumpkin. I love dogs. I have three Bichon Frise myself. I love Bichon Frise. Lovely, fluffy little... <laughs> So, uh, how can I help you? Help me? I'm here to help you. Why don't you take it upstairs, boys? Hey, listen, I... You I, and your wife went away together to your beach house just for the one night? Yeah, that's right. We're giving it up. Selling it. I suppose we were saying goodbye. Sentimental. You know how it is. I'm a renter. Why are you selling the house? It's part of a court settlement. Technical procedure. Bankruptcy? Technical procedure. Hmm. Max. So, let's see. When did you and your wife decide to make this sentimental journey out to your beach house? 
Last night, we were on our way to a cocktail party. Missy Davison's party, right? Pretty thorough, huh? That's why I get the big bucks. Wasn't there something else that happened out at your beach house recently? Something else? A robbery? Wasn't there a robbery there? Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, it was a robbery. I, well, in all this, I completely forgot. <clears throat> but weren't you there? In fact, weren't you there with... That was perfectly innocent. You were there with the burglar, and it was perfectly innocent? The burglar, yeah. I was there with the burglar. Just me and the burglar. Scandal and disease, Max. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <clears throat> I read the police report. And it's all very confusing. Confusing? Yes, and they're both burglaries, aren't they? I think maybe it was the same guy? I didn't say that. You did. Then what are you saying? Oh, I see all sorts of scenarios. That was a good place for a picture. Like? Like there's a house full of valuable objects out at the beach that you're not supposed to be in, but you are, and a burglary occurs. And then you talk your wife into leaving this house for sentimental reasons. And when the coast is clear, it happens again. Are you suggesting that I hired a thief to burglarize my house so I could collect the insurance money? I'm not suggesting anything. You asked for scenarios. You're the one to keep saying things. Watch it, Mr. Detective. You come into my house and accuse me of things? You think I need the insurance money? I could buy and sell a thousand of you. Yeah. Come on, baby. The Yorkie is an independent dog, but a devoted companion. And despite his small size, he is more than willing to act as a guardian for his master. Buy and sell a thousand of me? Really? Just out of curiosity, how much would you get for someone like me? You know, wholesale like that. I can't tell if you're trying to trap me or you're looking for a bribe. Yes. <laughs> All right, boys, let's take a good look around. Hey, Tardio, got all these files you asked for concerning Fairbanks. Thank you, Jerry. From. Hey, didn't I see you at the Ice Capade show last Monday? Come on, Tardio. I don't do Ice Capades. The shoes say butch, but the socks say hi. How you doing? Old daddy like a chariot. <gasps> look, kids. Oh, what a beautiful child. Thanks. Boy? Girl? Doesn't matter. Lovely child. So innocent. Damn, where's that lens? Hello, Kevin. Hmm. Oh, hey, Tadio. What a nice surprise. Yes, it is, isn't it? Hey, you feel like taking a walk? Sounds good, but uh, I gotta go see an optician. Yeah, you know, right now my eyes acting up. A little blurry right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that blurry? Uh, no, I see that just fine. That's good. Relax, would you? This is just an overlap of two connected worlds. You never cross your line. I never cross mine. Know what I mean, Kevin? Damn. Just guess. Poor little thing. Even in the outdoors, huh? Mm. So what's new, Kevin? Uh, nothing. Just playing at golf, doing that uh, Tiger Woods thing. <laughs> you? Oh, busy. There's still a lot of crime out there. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, especially after all your efforts. It can be time-consuming. I guess that's why I never took up a sport like you. Although, for some reason, I've always been drawn to figure skating. Speaking of crime, you know what crime I hate the most? Insurance fraud. Oh, yeah, why is that? Because the crook is using me. Oh, detective, they took everything, and here's the list of the stolen items, and can I have that docket number so I can claim my insurance money? Nothing makes me angrier than trying to solve a case that never happened. So you think you got a burglary that doesn't smell right? A big townhouse, Beacon Hill. I'm wondering if the arrogant son of a bitch bankrupt bum who owns the place maybe didn't set it up himself. Yeah, well, I didn't, uh, I didn't hear nothing about no scam. But if I do, I, I'll let you know. Do you still blink when you're not telling the truth, Kevin? No. Must be the contact lenses. Walkies. Come on, picks. We gotta get you a brand muffin. We're getting everybody brand muffins. <laughs> Ryan! Hi! Grace, I can't believe it. I yeah, me neither. How long has it been since uh, you've been back in town? Well, I've been back a couple of weeks. I, I can't believe this. I've been meaning to call you. 
Yeah, you're probably just saying that because you just happened to run into me. No, no, I'm serious. I've been thinking about you. Last week I was driving in the rain and my windshield wiper seemed to speak your name. <laughs> but at first it was just a mist, so I had them on intermittent and they went, Grace, Grace. And then it started to rain really hard and they went, Grace, 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 Grace. You probably just need new rubber on your wiper blades. <laughs> No, no, they're brand new. I, this is probably uh, last minute and everything, but do you have plans for Saturday? Is my name on a wall somewhere? <laughs> I would really love to see you again. Is that you or your wiper blades talking? <laughs> What's the hurry, son? Before? Dad, he's been over to the house. Wait in my car for me, honey. Dad. I'd like to talk to this young man alone. <clears throat> I'm not going to give you a ticket, son. Thank you, sir. But I am going to give you a warning. Okay. I don't want you seeing my daughter anymore. Sir, I... Hey. She's not your type. Oh, we're just friends, sir. Well, I'm sure you have other friends. And if you don't, I'll be happy to find some for you. Just not my daughter. So first, Kira? I met a friend of yours today. Derek. Where'd you meet him? At our support group. I guess he's been having a rough time lately. Since when? He hasn't told you? No. But we're not really that close. At least not anymore. Well, that's too bad. He seems kind of lonely. How do you know? I could just tell him. Talking to him. Why were you talking to him? Because he's been having a rough time. Wow. What? The kid is something. You don't even know him, Dad. I'm, I'm getting to know him. Well, hopefully the group will help. Oh, I'm sure he's just going to blossom. What is wrong with you? Dad doesn't like Derek. No, Dad knows Derek. Dad knows Derek all too well. somewhere else I'm not interested in your daughter anymore sir I know that but the person you are interested in she's not available I don't know what you're talking about my wife told me you joined her group <laughs> you choose all your wife's friends but... let me explain something to you son I understand how you feel I understand it better than anyone because I've lived with the feeling far longer than anyone you'll ever meet at that support group. But let me tell you something else, and this is the really important part. You don't matter to me at all. You have zero value in my life. And where Mario's concerned, the only value that you could ever have is by causing me problems. And that's not something you want to do. particularly subtle form of intimidation about the gays in the workplace case? That would be illegal. Oh, my God. I 
Kreskin grabs your hand and tells you you're toast? Think about that, Jimmy. <laughs> We're always so sure we're calling the shots in life. Maybe we're just playing it out. What, like, um, like I was destined to order this chicken noodle soup here? <laughs> out of my area here, Jimmy. Ask any cop. Obvious answer is usually the right one. You got played. I'll bet that was your first instinct. Come on, admit it. I... You wait. Next, he'll offer to talk to the big guy on your behalf. First, it's hard-boiled eggs under the pillow, and then it's, uh, could you empty out that savings account? <laughs> I'm telling you, these guys are good. They're good. They get inside your head. Money. Oh, mo oh, come on. Money? He's patient. He figures you're not a superstitious guy. He takes a lucky guess. Luck doesn't explain the wolves game, though, does it? You think he didn't size you up, observe every detail? He saw the wolves stick around your bumper. Figured you had money on the game. Dallas. He knew about that money. He plays the percentages. One guy takes the bait, another 50 he never sees again. And he leaves you looking under every rock. Hey, you remember? Yeah, I'll have a little more. Thank you. Do you remember when we were kids, we used to play that game on the highway? What was it? See how many red Volkswagens you could spot? Spot. Spot, yeah. You see an awful lot of them once you start looking. You, my friend, are in a funk. Take a day. Take a weekend. Go away with Dee. Really. Let this go. Oh, let it go. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right, all right, good. Ay, ay, ay. Jen. Jen, would, would you get him some chili cheese fries or something? He's eating a salad. Don't ever serve him a salad again. It goes to nothing. Hey, old buddy. Hey, hey, hey. hey Jimmy. What time no see? Is that your dad you with? Yeah. Want a cup of coffee? Okay. No, nah, no time. Glad I ran into you, though. Thought about you the other day. How's that? I was in the old neighborhood. Yeah. Spring Street. You ever get over there? Not really. Just as well. Break your heart. Drug neighborhood now. Every other house falling down. You go to visit there every now and then. 
Just sit there, across the street from my old man's place. You know, it's next door. I half expect to see your mother come out onto the porch. She and my dad never got along too good, but I always liked her. Awful way to go, like she did. Uh, let's change the subject, okay? Sure. Anyway, I was saying that, you know, sometimes I'll drive over there and just sit by the curb and try to figure it all out. Well, what out? Life, I guess, you know, the way things turn out. I guess some folks would think it's pretty weird me ending up in cops. It's not me, Jimmy. Oh, man, that's what I meant, I guess. I had his run-ins with the law over the years. It's probably why your ma had it in from, huh? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I saw him beat one of them union organizers half to death right outside the old shirt factory. Of course, old man Whitey put him up to it, so, you know, gave him the nod. And now here we are, 30 years later, both working for old Francine. As a policeman, I thought you worked for the city. Yeah? You tell me that woman in Empire Falls ain't the same thing. Okay. They're not the same thing. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. How's that cute little girl of yours? Good. Good. Happier than she's been in, uh, some time. Want to know a secret? I think my Zach's still sweet on her. I told him at the time he should have let her down jump. <laughs> Give me a minute. My God! What a stupid kid you were growing up. How the hell are you, Jimmy? I'm just fine. How you doing, Mr. Roby? I don't think I can remember anybody as untalented as Jimmy here. My God, it was pitiful. But I guess that is a lesson to us all. You know, never give up on a child. Now, um, Miles here, just the opposite. Straight A's all the way through school. I would have sworn that he would have growed up having a good heart, and if his own father needed a helping hand, he'd be right there. But apparently not. Why don't you go get in the car, Dad? Because I'm having a conversation with Jimmy Mickey here. He may not be gifted like you, but I'll bet he can follow what I'm saying. Tell you the truth. I would rather have a complete idiot for a child than an ingrate. I gotta go, Mr. Roby. Hey, Miles? Yeah. Take a little walk with me? Yeah, sure. The Indianapolis 500, the most iconic race in the history of sports. And today, today marks the centennial 100 years of heroes, tradition, and glory. Make no mistake, there is nothing ordinary about this race. This is the gold standard. A symbol for greatness that plays out on a stage like no other. It started with Ray Haroon and the Marmon Wasp. Now, back in 1911, mechanics rode rumble seat with the driver. They were the eyes in the back of their heads. But Ray wasn't just a driver. He was an inventor. Tricked out with the first ever rear view mirror, Ray rode solo. The Wasp takes the checkered flag, and the Indy 500 is born. Today, the greatest spectacle in racing is just that. 500 miles to immortality. Indy is peerless and original. It's not just built on tradition, it invents traditions. I got news for you. In Victory Lane, champagne is a cliche, but milk, milk is Indy. Milk is one of a kind. Now, this track, yeah, she's seen it all. The triumph and tragedy. Two and a half miles of power and grace. And she's been known to drum up a curse or two, so don't cross her, because ask any driver. They'll tell you, she's got a say in who wins this thing. The times have changed, but not this place. And the only thing that kept them from racing here was a world war. But, like America, she came back stronger than ever. Now stay tuned for the greatest spectacle in racing. From 1949, it was lights, camera, action. Television launched the 500 into people's homes, and from there, the legend soared with faster cars, edge of your seat, heart pumping. I can't believe that I just saw that. That would be Mr. A.J. Foyt to you and me. Immortality. In 1969, it was his turn. 
godfather of motorsports. Here's the checkered flag. Mario Andretti. He's won the Indianapolis 500. But for every legend who solved this riddle, the stories of those who came up empty are legion. That's the harsh reality of this sport. But without the bitter, the sweet wouldn't be a sweet. In 1985, Danny Sullivan opens up a candy store out of turn two and leaves Mario with the bill. One of the sweetest moves ever. Spin and win. Just goes to show in racing, you never know. And Sam Hornish Jr. right on the tail of Marco Andretti. Just ask Sam Hornish Jr. How close was Marco Andretti? Six hundredths. Well, this is what they race for. With victory comes the honor of having your face sculpted into one of the greatest trophies in sports. Legends like Rutherford, John Cox, Fittipaldi, to name a few. But only A.J. Foyt, Al Unser, and Rick Mears claimed the board Warner four times. Extraordinary. Today, Elio looks to join that fraternity, but he'll be pushed to the brink by those looking to make their own history. Here's the thing, at Indy, you're either first or forgotten. Cruel? Maybe, but such is life. An opportunity missed, a door unopened, a path not chosen. But every year on Memorial Day weekend comes the chance to cross these bricks and live forever. No votes, no politics, no thanks to the Academy. Nothing. Just driver, machine, pursuit, Immortality. And that is the goal that has inspired every driver to strap on a helmet for this race, and it is the goal that drives the 33 competitors here today. In cash, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Because nobody knows later. You. You want to feel good now. You want to look good now. You want to play now, you want to make love now, you want to buy things now, you want to go where you want, and you want to do what you want, and you want all of that not later, because I promise you, and you're not the only one that's going to be dead, but I promise you, nobody knows later. Later doesn't mean dick. Later, if you'll pardon the expression, is for losers. I've got the cash, and I've got it now. I've got it when you want it. I've got it when you need it. Otherwise... Minutes lost. Hours. Oh, Christ, I can't imagine. I can't imagine losing another day. A whole day of life. How many heartbeats left? How many breaths? Days. Massive, irretrievable days. Rushing past so fast they make your eyes hurt. Thinking about how many are slipping away. I say we do this. I say now. I say live. Now, what do you say?